beautiful and just golf classics for others. <laughs> so it's nice to have um, yeah, people like the New York who I, I'm really excited for. I like it. Yeah, because like, you know, Brenda now is like, you know, usually you guys are team New Balance yeah. together, and now she's your rival. Or Start up and hug her and talk to her, and then I said, you know, I gotta go. You're Philadelphia. I'm like, can't scratch I mean, yeah. with the enemy. It's like New York and Philadelphia. You guys hate each other more than Portland and San Francisco, right? Yeah, so I, mean, I, I figure East Coast thing. Yeah, but it's it's all fun. But it, it's definitely um, the the team prize money is is that's a lot of money, and so it's I think during those four by fours, people are gonna be cheering loud, winning their their team colors. Yeah, another the thing. It's, it's only four teams. It's it's gonna be decided in the four by four. I mean, you'd think. I'm hoping that um, New York is a big lead for me and still win the second hundred, so that a little pressure is off yeah. myself, and then I can just hope that the men's fifteen and that uh, in the four by four. Yeah. So two ten tomorrow. Is that a good? You know, what four oh six pace? He said that's kind of close to your PR. It's that, kinda close to my is theory. that what you want? Um, I I bumped into uh, Danny Mackey today, and he told me that that was the case, and so I um, that works for me. I'm the slowest person in the field, and so I'm just hoping to get out there. And Are you really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So hoping to get out there and beat some people and run close to a PR. So if we come through in two ten and I can close well, then I think that's that's a good way to run a PR instead of going through in two oh eight and dying. So, be fun. thinking ahead, obviously, this is all, Rio means everything. Um, you're what, the third fastest this year? Yeah. Does that, you said, you know, in the press conference that you want to get in a medal, but an Olympic medal is an even bigger thing. You, those opportunities don't come along very often. So, I don't know, having run so fast this year, does that change your mindset? Or is it still the same? Just go out there, just run your best and... Um, doesn't really change anything. I mean, there are definitely a few people who have medals in the past just haven't run super fast yet this year, so I'm not counting them out yet. Um, and so, although I've been top, I'm top three in the world right now, it's still, there's three or four other people who I'm still thinking have a solid chance to medal um, who've run slower than me. So, I, um, I feel like I'm fit and I'm healthy and Feeling ready to run fast and just hoping, uh, hoping that I have it in me. And, and the last 150 I broke last year was just not, not a very brilliant finish. So I'm hoping that um, the one last 150 in Rio goes a little better for me. And did you watch the, all the Diamond League meets? Like the ones yeah. you don't run in? Yeah, I watched them. I was. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, early on in Shanghai, seeing how fast they ran, and then. Um, and then obviously I was in Cree and I saw them challenge the world record there. So I've definitely been um, been paying attention to not only the top two, but yeah, like I said, the medalists from previous years who are behind me who haven't quite run their best yet. Um, and it's always entertaining to watch as a fan the Diamond League because when you're in the moment, you don't really, um, you can't really learn that much from your opponents every race. But if you watch the Diamond League, you can kind of pick out certain um, weaknesses or certain moments in the race that an opponent is typically really strong or whatever. So it's actually been um, entertaining to watch. Yeah, it's been an interesting year. Yeah. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And, oh, Rio, like, or Zika or anything like that. Is any of that worry you? Worry you? Um, I think it's more worrisome for, like, fans and spectators and family going. I think Team USA does everything to the best of their ability. Like, if I would don't want to go to Rio with someone else. You know, Team right. USA does it the best. So I feel like we're going to be as well taken care of as we can. We've been given, um, you know, all the literature possible regarding Zika and all of that. So I, I feel like I got enough to worry about in my race. I'm kind of exhausted and I'm hoping it works out. But, uh, yeah, I'm really just thinking about my race and Hopefully I don't find any, any mosquitoes going out there. That's what I kind of figure. <laughs> All right, well, good luck.